Welcome back to another episode of Formcast. And listen, guys, it is disgustingly hot out there. I live in Canada, Northern Ontario, Canada. And yes, it does not snow year round. I wish it was snow. I, I don't even know if I would take that back, but it is hot as ever out there. It's like a bad Friday night after Taco Bell. Needless to say, if you're watching this on YouTube and I got a glint on my cheeks and all that kind of stuff, well, guess what? C'est la vie, mon ami. It is warm. <clears throat> so stay cool and stay frosty. Okay, that was cheesy. Episode 26. I want to talk about something that kind of came to my mind this morning and how like crazy it's been. When a game comes out, and it is taken by storm by the largest of streamers. You have to play the game. Now, when I say that, I say that in terms of being a streamer, a content creator. If you're just a, a viewer and, and you don't care to make your own content, it is what it is. Watch what you want, play what you want. But as a content creator, I've always believed that, yes, you must uh, stay the course on most games and, and kind of play something similar to keep your audience entertained regardless if you switch games and don't go from one end of the spectrum to the other there's so many different ways to do it but that was my belief for a very long time however when a game comes out no matter what it is if it is absolutely taking the content creation world by storm you got to dip in what I'm talking about is a game that just came out only up. You probably heard of it. If you haven't, go check out some TikToks about it. It is absolutely one of the most stressful, anxiety-filling games I have ever played. And it costs a whopping $6 on Steam. I'm rounding that up because I'm Canadian and I paid 7 or $8 and I think it was on sale and I don't know. But anyways, it's super cheap. This game is pretty much you start at the bottom of this giant, giant masterpiece of level of climbing tubes and pipes and construction zones and whales and ice planes and all these different types of objects to get to the very, very top. The problem is there's no checkpoints. If you fall down, you have to restart. If you shut the game off, you have to restart. It could take you hours to get to the top if you're not careful. Needless to say, this has taken the content creation, the TikToks, YouTubes, uh, everything streams, it, it, people are playing this game just recently on, I think it was Sunday night when I officially finally beat it after three days, not three full days, but three days in a row trying to beat it for a couple hours. It had a whopping, I think 150,000 viewers on Twitch. That is insane. That's probably more than Warzone and, and multiplayer COD, uh, put together. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. It's absolutely insane. So what I'm saying this for is, if you're a streamer, you have to be flexible and you have to adapt. I've talked about this before in previous podcast episodes. The ability to adapt and be flexible when something changes in the content creation world. Why do you need to play this game if it's taking things by storm? Because the virality or the potential of virality in terms of content, in terms of clips, in terms of you being seen is absolutely tremendously high. Why not? For instance, I can post clips about Call of Duty, this and that, and then you might get a certain number. I posted a couple clips of Only Up, and the majority of them did three to four times better than my regular clips. It is trending. The hashtags are trending. The TikToks are trending. Why not? The other part of this is your viewership will most likely go up. When there's a game that's trending and a game that's like everybody's talking about it, not everybody playing it. They want to go check it out before they either buy it or they just want to check it out. They don't even want to want to play it. They just want to see people absolutely go at it and potentially fail. This game is built in terms of risk reward. You risk more, you, you might not get the reward, but the reward is there. But you also might fail miserably. And we all know people love seeing people fail and be tortured over and over. And the disappointment is real. Play the game. It can bring in a brand new audience that could then stick with you and become part of your regular viewership. The other thing about this is monetization. How do you monetize a game? Well, for instance, I saw so many people do three subs, five subs, $30, $20, whatever monetization source they wanted to monetize, they would jump off their current level or they would jump all the way to the bottom or 
they would find a way to monetize this game. And it is absolutely insanely smart from a streamer business perspective. I was able to take my stream and this feature I have where if a certain amount of bits or a certain amount of get to subs are given by viewers, it actually controls my game real time without me noticing, without me being able to stop it uh, as soon as someone cheers or gifts in the stream. So for example, I was able to put 1000 bits for people to make my guy jump. Technically, what that does is every time someone cheers 1000 bits, exactly, it would make the space bar be hit pretty much in game. I don't have to do that physically, but it actually makes it happen in game and my guy would jump. If, <laughs> if you've ever played this game, you jump the wrong way once one inch, two inches off, you can plummet down to the bottom. That feature alone created more stress for me, more anxiety but it created content. People were trying to get me to jump in the wrong times at the wrong places. It pretty much, you know, make me feel absolute sadness by dropping down to the bottom. What I'm telling you this is, what I'm telling you this for is, don't be afraid that if something is taking things by storm and taking by people by storm, to throw yourself into it, even if it's completely out of your your comfortable range, your, your, your box, your zone. I stream FPS shooters for the most part. I do scary games once a week. After that, it's Call of Duty, a little bit of Valorant, maybe Fortnite randomly. Aside from that, there's not a whole lot different than I do, aside from your just chatting portions of streams and whatnot. But this game, completely out of my rep repertoire. But when you see giant streamers playing this game, you got to jump in. This isn't something where if you talk about, let's say Diablo 4, it was talked about a lot, right? A lot of people talked about it. It was going off on Twitter and all that kind of stuff, but it's not necessarily a game that took everyone by storm. And, and it's hard to explain what that is, but you know, when you see it, this $6 game took everyone by storm. People are trying to beat this thing, world records, finding glitches, finding shortcuts, finding the easiest ways. The developers have actually already updated the map, so it's a little bit different as they go. So you could try again, try again. They're coming out with apparently a multiplayer thing. So if this game is taking everyone by storm, why sit on the sideline and miss out on potential content for it? You just have to play it a few times to get some decent content. I'm just saying this. I'm just sharing this because of how shocked I was as to how well received it was by not only my community, but that of many others, you're talking about Nick Merckx, Tim the Tapman, Doc. Those guys only play FPS games for the most part. I think Tim might be the only one that ventures off. And Doc maybe a little bit. But for the most part, FPS all the way. But here they were making top-notch content, hilarious content, viral content. All because of a $6 video game. Take this for what it is. Use it however you want. But in the future, all I suggest is don't necessarily have to buy the game and play it and stream it and make content, of, uh, but suggesting that you be flexible, open, and able to adapt. A very short episode again this week. I'm finally done my moving, I think. It's been one heck of a journey, one heck of a process. I'm hoping that next week we have something to talk about that I can take a little bit more of your time and provide you with something to listen to while you take a giant rest on the couch. Thank you so much for listening to Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. If you haven't yet subbed to the YouTube channel, if you haven't yet download the podcast on Spotify or Apple. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Cheers.